stories we have lined up for you at this hour is the tragic news of the death of Yvonne Romalua, former widow of the late former Vice President Kijana Romalua. Our reporter Elvis Koske is in Kitale, the home of the late Michael Kijana Romalua. He will be giving us details as he speaks to members of the family and of course an update from the spokesperson of the family. Willie Lusige will be joining us live from Kakamega where a new cancer centre is set to be opened today and of course later on Raquel Mugai will be giving us an update from Nanyuki where Yvonne Wamalua died from earlier today. Many thanks for joining us. So the program begins now. Yvonne Omalua, the widow of the late former Vice President Michael Kijana Omalua, has passed on, according to sources close to the family. Yvonne died at her sister's home in Nanyuki. Today morning, Water Cabinet Secretary Eugene Omalua has also confirmed that the family is making arrangements to airlift the body to Lee Funeral Home in Nairobi. Yvonne was served as a Deputy Permanent Representative of Kenya to the United Nations Habitat after the death of her husband, Omalua Kijana, in 2003. Our reporter Elvis Koske is at the family home in Kitale, Trans and Zoya County, to speak to the relatives, friends, and family of the late Yvonne Romalua. Elvis, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Akisa. Even as the family is making arrangements to lift the body from Nanyuki to uh, Leaf Funeral Home, uh, Somba Mood has descended here in Milimani, Kiminini constituency in Transoya County. This is where the late Yvonne Nambia Wamalwa was married in 2003 in a society wedding by the late former, prize, former Vice President Kijana Wamalwa. Uh, as you can see, this is the mausoleum where the late, vi the late former prize, Vice President was buried in 2003 in the traditional wedding according to the Bangle clan. But as you can see here, we have the family members and also the spokesmen of the family who are here. But as you can see, nothing much is happening at this particular place because uh, they only say that they had the news that the uh, late Yvonne Nambia uh, Wamalwa died uh, this morning at uh, Nanyuki. Maybe if to speak to uh, the spokesman of the family, Labda weze kutuambia hizi ya bari mulizipokea mkiwa wapi? Ya, wasaa hizi ya bari zimetupata kila mtu tukio kwa shuguli zetu. Kwa sababu kila mtu alikuwa mayamuka na shuguli za siku. Na nikawa nikapigiwa simu na mwishmiwa waziri wa maji, mwishmiwa yujinu wa malwa. Mm -hmm. uh, Keza kunijulisha kwamba tumempoteza shemeji wetu. Okay. So ni habari ambayo ilitupata hatukua tumetarajia. Lakini sisi kitu tunaomba tu ni kwamba mtuwambe tukue na nguvu. Ndiyo tuweza kustahimili huu msiba kwa sababu hatukua tumejianda, hatukua tunautarajia. Uh, hayo ndi mambo yenye mene za kusema. Ndiyo. Yeah. Nabla utupatie tu safari zake za mwisho kabla kufariki kwa keni yapi ambayo ilikuwa na ejua? Uh, mwanzo kitu amina ajua shemeji ya mekua mgonjwa kwa muda wa miezi sita sasa hivi. Mm -hmm. Na huu muda wote kwa sababu tuwakumbuka muda mwingi baada ya ndugu yetu kuwaga alieza kuwa alieza kuchaguliwa na mwishmi wa rais mwishmi wa mwai kibaki kuenda kuwa tachi kwa embassy ya Australia. Na muda wake mwingi sana alieza kukao kwa kufanya kazi. Na kutoka pale hivyo baada ya serikali ya mwishmi wa huru kenyata kuchukua mamlaka alieza kurudi Kenya na akawa attached kwa National Assembly eh, Committee. Then badai alieza kuchaguliwa kuenda attached na kwa embassy ya Tanzania. Kutokea pale hakuweza ku, 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 ku report kazi ni kwake kwa sababu hapo hivyo ndialianza kulemewa na, na ugonjwa. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, hivyo ndio mineza kusema juu yake. Ndiyo. Mishu kabisa labda tuweze kusikia pia kwa mmoja wa uh, unasema kwa mwalotokea clan ya Baengele na tunafahamu kwa mba muenda zake ya liekua makamu wa raisi ya lizikuwa hapa. Je katika um, tabari za tanzia ambazo tumepata nye kama jamii labda isi ya zenyo? Yeah, first of all, uh, condolences to the wider family. We received the news of this death in the morning um, from Waziri Eugene Wamalwa. Um, so we are organizing ourselves. We, we are in this family, we, we are in this home. We wanted to see how best we can start organizing ourselves. And first of all, uh, priority matters. We, we buried uh, the vice president here 
and it was begged on a, a bylaw being banned in one way or the other so that we bury him here. And now we have lost uh, the dear wife. So we were kindly asking the county government go ahead and maybe give us that uh, room again to have her buried here. Um, away from that, we are looking at, I mean, the, the clan members, they come around so that we start now making arrangements. Because when uh, this happens, it doesn't just now go to the family, it goes to the wider clan. And, and, and given um, this was a high-profile fellow working for the government, and of course we want to give uh, uh, a lot of appreciation to the government of Banahuru uh, Kenyatta. We are very grateful. So we want to be together in this. As we mourn our departed, we want your support in prayers and, uh, and material um, support that we may be able to give, to, to give her a befitting send-off. Yeah. Yeah, my name is William Amalo. Um, the son to the last late vice president. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I have to say is uh, I'm in shock and uh, very devastated uh, with this news. Uh -huh. And uh, the moment still trying to swallow. Yeah, it has uh, not yet sunk in. But uh, we'd like to ask everyone to put us in the press okay. as we move forward. Okay. Yeah. A kisa you've heard from members of the family, including the firstborn of the late uh, former vice president, Kijana Wamalwa. According to family members here, is that the late Yvonne Nambia Wamalwa kept an active public profile, even though of late uh, told that she had gone to Nyanyuki until her demise uh, today in the morning. But uh, of what we know, that she was the deputy high commissioner of Kenya to Australia. And also, she, she led key activities here in Transoya County, including helping the needy at this particular part of the county. Also, being an alumnus of Cardinal Otunga Girls High School in Kisi County. And also, we are told that she was in Mudok University in Western Australia. So, those are some of the details that we have managed to gather at this particular place. Akisa. Elvis Koske at the home of uh, the late uh, former Vice President Michael Kijano Amalua's friends and family continue to gather there after the news broke. Well, uh, Yvonne Wamalua died in Nanyuki and uh, our reporter Raquel Mwigai has been tracking the developments from that end. She now joins us uh, with more details. Raquel, we understand that the body will be moved to Nairobi anytime now. Could you confirm? Yes, Akisa, that is indeed true. We'll get that update from Raquel Mwigai in uh, a moment once we sort out the sound problem we are encountering. But our senior reporter, Patrick Amimo, is at the Lee Funeral Home here in Nairobi, where the body is set uh, to be moved to. Patrick, good afternoon. Good afternoon, uh, Akisa. At the Lee Funeral Home here, we're just expecting the body because according to reports uh, from the CS, uh, Eugene Wamalwa, who is relative to the late uh, uh, Yvonne uh, na, 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 Nambia Wamalwa, the body is expected to arrive here at the Lee Funeral Home at 2 p.m. And from Nanyuki, from the, my counterpart, Raquel uh, Mwigai, uh, from uh, uh, her information is that uh, uh, the body will be airlifted from the Briarburn School uh, to uh, uh, probably Wilson Airport before it will be it's transported to the Lee Funeral Home. But just to bring uh, maybe you up to speed, uh, with regard to Yvonne, uh, she, uh, besides she was, uh, she had a master's degree in terrorism, policing, and international uh, uh, international, uh, also it was international security uh, where she studied at the Madoc University in Australia. She was also serving as a deputy high commissioner of Kenya in Australia uh, by, by, at the time of her, her death. And uh, from just looking at uh, some of those, uh, uh, her lifestyle, she was uh, a vegetarian. And from the look of things, she also said she liked uh, exercising. She was a, a gym a gym fanatic, besides being a vegetarian. And also, she liked uh, brown ugali, given that she comes from Western Kenya. Uh, she is where where people are famed for ugali. She liked uh, brown ugali with traditional vegetables uh, such as um, uh, uh, terere uh, or uh, these uh, am amaranth. Uh, I also liked uh, these uh, 
kunde and also these are uh, uh, likes like sweet potatoes and these are uh, nduma. So those are some of the the food stuff she used to like and uh, with these due to these uh, it it always kept her 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 her, her facial features uh, youthful. That is uh, the secret to her life, that, to her, her youthful face. That's how she used to tell people uh, uh, during her, her time on, on the secrets of her uh, uh, maintaining that youthful, uh, youthful skin. Akisa. Well, are there any people who've already started milling the leaf in roll home as they expect the body to be airlifted to that particular place? At the Lee funeral home, there's no relative for the Wamalwas here. I think uh, uh, they could all be, they might be at the Wilson Airport where uh, the body will uh, will land after it's been airlifted uh, before it's brought to the Lee funeral home. So at this particular uh, facility, no relative here. It's only uh, the media pers uh, media personnel who are, who are just waiting here uh, for the arrival of the body, which is expected uh, according to the itinerary that was uh, given by the Cabinet Secretary for Water and Irrigation, uh, Eugene Wamalwa. It will be 2 p.m. So we expect uh, maybe any time uh, as you approach 2 p.m., that's when uh, the family and relatives will be flocking at this facility uh, for the uh, for the viewing of the body and maybe later statement to know really what might have transpired uh, in Nanyuki before uh, the later. Uh, Yvonne Okwara died. Um, Yvonne Romalo and not Yvonne, Yvonne Okwara, Patrick, uh, so senior reporter, uh, Patrick Amimo from the Leaf and Roll Home. Let's now hear from uh, um, our reporter Raquel Mugai in Nanyuki. Raquel, do we know the exact time that the late Yvonne Romalo's body will be airlifted to Nairobi? Okay, sir, it will be probably in the next 10 to 15 minutes when the body of the late Yvonne Wamalwa will be airlifted from Nanyuki to the Lee Funeral Home. However, so far, her body has been transferred from the Nanyuki Cottage Hospital, where she was earlier taken uh, after she passed on and has been brought here at the Nanyuki Police Station. It is protocol in the country that if one passes on outside the hospital premises, then an official statement has to be recorded within uh, a police uh, uh, within a police station just to make uh, things formal and to rule out any false play. Therefore, they are here to record a statement. It, it therefore means that she probably passed on at her sister's home here in Nanyuki, where she had come to visit. And therefore, after this, they will be living to Brabant School, where her plane, where the plane that will transfer her remains to Lee Funeral Home will be waiting for. But so far... All we can say is that um, that I know probably family members that have crowded around this place, no uh, pro uh, also parliamentarians or any lawmakers that have been be able to visit, have, have been able to uh, come to this setting. But one thing we can say is that it is a big blow to the country at large, given that she was able to serve in many high positions in the country. Soon after the, the, the death of the late Vice President Kijana Wamalwa in 2003, she got appointed to be the Deputy Permanent Representative of Kenya to the UN Habitat, an appointment that was made by President Mwai Kibaki. And three years later, she got to serve as the Deputy High Commissioner to Australia, as well as also to Tanzania before that uh, particular position was revoked by uh, the Foreign Affairs PS uh, Monica Juma during that time. But it has, it has been a hard, um, a hard time since the late Kijana Omalo passed on, given that at that particular point there were rules uh, that, uh, that occurred over property that was left by the late Vice President, given that after his passing he hadn't left any will uh, uh, after all, and therefore he had be, he, she was sued, the late Yvonne Omalo was sued by her son by the stepsons on exactly how she was able not to account for how she was not able to account for almost 36.7 million that had been given by parliament as gratuity for uh, by Kijano for Kijano Malua for the late Kijano Malua but later on a ruling uh, was made and uh, the property um, it was revealed that how she was able to handle the property was she handled the property as a personal property which was a breach of law and therefore a decision was made that she was not to receive any direct um, direct payments 
in regards to the family. Therefore, at this particular time, all we have to do now is just to wait and see. But from the information that we've been able to gather from just a few uh, random people within the Nanyuki Cottage Hospital is that uh, Yvonne Wamala leaves behind a legacy of, of a woman that was able to help where she could, despite serving uh, within such high positions in the country as well as internationally. She, she is a lady who has left behind a legacy that most will love to emulate. Akisa. All right, uh, Raquel, keep keeping tabs on that. We'll be joining you later on in the program. Um, uh, Raquel Mwiga is joining us live from Nanyuki, where the late Yvonne Wamalu passed on from. Her body is expected to be airlifted from Nanyuki to Nairobi at the Lee Funeral Home. Let's take a quick